Hi, Internet friends. Here it is, day number 19 in this series, 20 Days of Chief Architect X15. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, and I'm very excited to share these last two new features with you. Today's topic is called Depth Cube, right here on the screen. Let's get started in our favorite software. Yes, depth cue, and I do, I'm excited to show this uh, new feature and use this new feature because 95% um, of my business, probably it, it's high up there, is remodeling and additions. And particularly for an addition, I think this could be very valuable. Now, it's not got there's several applications where I can see it would have, we would have, it wouldn't be valuable, it wouldn't be useful, it would be confusing to use it in the way that it's currently set up. But I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for improvement on this. Now, for a basic like um, addition like I'm showing here, I think this would be useful. Uh, you know, maybe a dining room addition on the rear of the house, this would be useful. Um, but let me get into it how to set this up and we'll talk about some scenarios where it may not be useful and may probably would not work. All right, so I set, stepped backwards to where we're used to elevations um, like such. And for now, what in the past, what I've done for these last couple decades is just draw this and do like a work limit line and say, you know, this is the addition and this is the existing structure. And this is the existing not, you know, not in scope kind of thing. And I still can put those notes, but we now have depth queue options. And what that's doing is let's go to shift F6 here. And that is taking, here is my uh, camera, my elevation right here. And what that's doing is that's taking kind of like a back clipped cross section where I could do a back clipped cross section plane just through here. And you wouldn't see anything right beyond that back clipped plane. What that's doing is taking my plane here and applying sort of a fog to anything that, you know, is beyond this point from here back is kind of fogged out and I can set the color of that fog and the intensity of that fog, etc. So that's how we get um, from here back. Everything here is kind of fogged out. Now I did this on purpose. I don't have a foundation under here so you can see what's happening to the foundation underneath. Um, but let's, let's go into the elevation here. You'll notice that my uh, currently the house is like so, this addition you might be set up here and the deck is beyond the, the house plane, right? Yeah, be here. Let's go to the elevation and you'll see a new um, icon in the toolbar here where we have the option for depth cue. Clip sides, clip elevation, toggle reflection, shadows, edge smoothing, etc. Um, as well as that denoise view. Remember that from earlier uh, video, we have that denoise view in the PBR ray tracing. Depth cue. You can find that also in tools. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It was in 3D camera view options, depth cue. And you get this little, this little options. Let's go ahead and use depth cue. By default, it starts out at zero inches, 75%, and fog color is white. I'm going to expand this. We don't need to see that plan right now. Let's go back into the depth cue, and originally it's starting out to keep the start and end in sync. And so as I drag this slider, it's kind of like that cross-section slider. You remember in um, 3D view where you can get a cross section vertically in any of the three axes, top or bottom, positive or negative. All right, so I could drag this all the way to where 
you can see part of the roof and you can see how i hope it's showing up in the uh in the screen recording here how this top half of the roof is fogged out while the bottom half is very very clear and sharp i'm going to pull it back and show like this and you can see how this um, terrain is grading up toward the front of the house um, and so we've got a very dark green grade or terrain and a lighter fogged out uh, grade beyond that so let's go ahead and put a under here um, turn on that and I'm just going to take my foundation wall like so over here and like that and we'll just align it with that and go back to my elevation and now you see that the new foundation is also a solid color so if if in the case of just an addition on the back that works great right for the rear elevation but it doesn't work for this elevation because this is the existing house and beyond this plane here is the new addition. So I can't depth cue this out and leave this solid, right? Um, so if I go into depth queue and pull that back like so, you can start to see how the, the addition gets clear, but that foreground still is solid. So I think I like this, but I do think that the, um, there could be some additional controls. I think it would be confusing. I th here's my thought, right? I think it would be confusing. Let's put this, let's put these two together and go back into my depth queue here. Actually, I'm just going to turn that off. So we got this beautiful thing here saying, you know, this is grayed out. That's existing house. This is the prominent view and that's, that's the addition and that's, that communicates a lot, right? But I only get this on one one of the elevations. I can't even do this on the other elevation, this direction, because in let's say the case is that um, it doesn't matter really. Let's say the whether this deck is new or not. I can't. Let's say it's not new. I can't depth cue this. Because to get the addition not gray, this is not gray, and this is not gray. So once again, it's confusing. Let's say the deck is new and the, the dining room addition is new. So the deck looks new, but the addition doesn't look new, and the deck does not look new here. So it's... <laughs> <coughs> If I were to do this using depth queue, in this case, what I might do, let's say just the addition is new. What I might do is form this as a uh, polyline and give it a solid white fill, 75% transparency and a line style that's blank. Hmm. Oh, let's let's reverse that. That's probably a 25% transparency. So that would have a fog of 75%. There we go. So you might get it like that and then we would have similarities of a depth queue. Now, if the addition is the dining room and the deck, 
I might be screwed. Uh, let's close that. We're going to save, yes, and open this up. I do want to go through a couple more things. Notice how hard this fog, no fog line is. I've got fog up here, no fog down here. Um, you can kind of feather that by unchecking start and end in sync. And notice how as I drag this closer and closer to zero, that that feather just gets deeper and deeper uh, here. So what it's doing is in plan view. So I just noticed that my recording stopped in the middle of my explanation. And so I'm having to add on to the end of this at the YMCA here with my son. Um, so what I was saying was in plan view, um, I set the depth, the start and the end at 200 inches. That's, that's this distance here from the, from the section view is 200 inches. And um, so what that's doing is providing kind of a gradient from here to here. Um, in, in the start view as the fog gets thicker and thicker and thicker all the way back to this point. Um, so that's, that is depth cueing. Uh, I'd be curious to know if this, some of you have mentioned that um, SketchUp uh, does depth cue, and I, I'm not familiar with uh, the way SketchUp works, if this is similar or um, maybe need some improvements to, to the thing. I can see several cases where it might be difficult. Like, for instance, if I wanted to show the, you know, um, if, if, the addition, if the existing house were brick and I wanted to show flashing up against here, like I do sometimes, uh, this gutter line would look, would not be fogged in order for me to get to this uh, plane of the, of the brick facade. So, anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like this material, click like and subscribe down there and be watching for tomorrow's video for the end of our 20 days of X15. Thanks again. Take care.